Hi guys, this is Riza here. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick little film of the butterfly garden and some of the beautiful orchids that are blooming at this time and talk to you a little bit of some of the energies that we're being affected by and we're not really sure. Perhaps some of you don't even realize some of the things that are going on. But since I'm extremely sensitive, I kind of know uh, when there's something that's affecting, you know, our everyday lives and perhaps we don't really know for sure what the heck you know is going on because sometimes I find myself asking that question and I figure well it's something that I have no control over and due to the lovely eclipses that we have had here recently they have really helped us in essence to try to bring back some of the memories of some of the situations that we have had in our lives and uh, we just don't know how deeply rooted they are, how deeply they have affected us. Like some of the incidents that we experience now with other people, or they don't understand where we're coming from, or they don't understand what's going on with our personality, why we do certain things at certain times, or just why we do certain things in general. And they feel that it's an insult or that it's something to, to do with some issue that's negative, but actually it's just something that's happened to you when you were a child. You know, some disappointment or some situation that you didn't know how to handle. And it was just something that was part of your personality. And it goes back, all the way back from childhood. And some people don't understand it. And then you're, fig you know, you're thinking, well, how come I act this way? Why do these things keep happening to me? What in the world is going on? It's part of our personality. It's part of our lives. And, you know, there's just nothing we can do about it. We just have to learn to live with it. And I'm trying to chase the butterflies and find them for you, but I don't know if you can see them uh, as I go through. Let me keep moving. So just know that some of the issues from our childhood are starting to show up in a way that perhaps may not be very positive or that the people around you may be affected by it negatively, but it's just there to show you, to show you that perhaps it's something that you have done since you were a child. And it's got nothing to do with the people around you. There's nothing that you can do to change it because some of those dark parts of you, about you, things that you do, are there for a reason. And there's nothing you can do to change that, even if you want to. So the people around you just need to learn to live with you. And instead of constantly trying to change you or picking at you, they need to learn to live with you. And if it's not something that they can do, then, then it's something that you need to either rise above when others can't understand you or move away from that energy, move away from the people that don't, that don't really jive with you. Because believe me, eventually you will find someone that does care for you that does love those little idiosynchronicities about you those little things that you do that to them they actually love you know so that you don't have to be um, around people that are constantly picking on you or saying things that are negative because they don't like the way that you act or they don't like the way that you do things well it's part of your personality and then what they do is they start uh, channeling you or be or trying to be like you just to show you what it is that you do when in actuality it's part of your personality and not theirs you know they do it because they're I don't know envious jealous uh, trying to mock you or whatever of your situation but don't let it get to you you know because you know who you are what you are what you bring to the table and, and, and the little things that you do are there because of situations that you have experienced in the past. It's not something that you do because you want to be mean or you want to be uh, aggravating someone. It's just part of your personality. So just know it and don't worry about what others think. You know, sometimes we make ourselves sick trying to please other people or trying to be what everyone else wants us to be, but it's impossible. It's impossible to do. You just need to be yourself and take things one step at a time one situation at a time make small changes if you can in your life nothing too aggressive nothing that may hurt you you know while you're trying to change things just 
just be yourself in other words you know and know that the energies in our lives right now are teaching us who we are how some of those personality traits got there and how it's unique to you not to other people other people may not understand it but that's not your problem okay your problem is to be able to deal with it keep moving forward you know and um, and rise above it I hope this wasn't all too confusing for you because <laughs> to me it is sometimes you know but uh, what do you think of this little garden that we've got here huh it's really nice huh this is where I moved to they uh, this lovely garden is just amazing and now that some of the orchids are blooming and some of the exotic plants that they have here are blooming it's really really lovely very lovely I'm very impressed it's going to in essence take a lot of my time e extra time that is because I love coming outdoors and I've missed it a lot or I used to look this is something that was recently planted and uh, it's nice pines there it's going to give it a lot of good shade and it's in the shape of a medicine wheel which was kind of impressive to me I really like that part because it's healing it's it's a lot of healing energy that's here huh? and then you know it's just the way it is so guys I hope you've enjoyed my little showing you some of the plants tour this one here I can't wait to see it bloom it hasn't bloomed yet but it's huge it's a huge orchid tree let's see oh it's gonna have pink pink orchids whenever it does decide to bloom a little card is in there I can't wait there's another bed that they're working on and my favorite little orchids are Let's see if I can find them. Right there. Gotta be careful. The ground is wet. Here they are. I love these little orchids here. They're so pretty. did a quick quick little painting of them this morning all right guys I hope you've enjoyed my little tour here's another section of it I mean it's really this thing is really big it's hard to show it all to you there's still another section on the other side I haven't left one part of it yet to go to the next but it's it's very very big Okay, well, I love you guys, know that I love you, and I hope that you can navigate through the energies and through the lessons that you are learning on a daily basis. Some of them are very, very powerful. Some of them are very difficult because it shows you parts of yourself that are dark, that you don't really want to look at, that memories, you know, that, <clears throat> that it brings about may be a little tough. But it's just to show you, it's just to show you who you are, your personality traits, how they got there, how far back did they start, why did they start, what happened in your life that, that created it, you know? And how other people have no right to um, point their finger at you and say anything because it's not their, their issue, it's not their life, it's your life and you have to decide how you're going to change it and how you're going to deal with your own dark parts and how some of them are there because it's a gift. It's a gift and you need to remember that some of them are gifts that we have so we need to work with them, we need to work through them. If you have a talent that you have been ignoring or that you don't use, you, you need to start. You need to put down your fears or make time for it because you never know where it's going to lead you. The weekly reading is all about that this week. It's all about your talent, it's all about starting, inspiration that leads you to beautiful places.
I'm hoping the butterflies come through. They're there. I don't know if you can see them, but I have I'm trying to get chase them is hard. They do move fast, see them. But they're lovely. I saw a peach one the other day. I thought, oh my god, I've never seen a peach colored butterfly. It was lovely. There's a lot of monarchs here. And there's a lot of the ones that are striped yellow and black. Because they live under this canopy here. So lovely. All right, guys, I love you. <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed the little tour of the butterfly garden and all the orchids that live here. Let's see if I can catch some more butterflies for you, but I don't know. There. They're here, trust me. They're all over. All right. Leave some comments down below and let me know what you think of my little tours of the garden. And what I talked about. Bye for now.